you knew there had to be a 1989 video. So Taylor has finally released 1989 Taylor's version. Taylor has been re-recording her album so that she can own the masters. But in order for her to do that, she has to change some of the songs in order to avoid copyright infringement. I have been listening to 1989 on repeat for 10 years, so I know those songs really well. And when I listened to Taylor's version, I could tell where she had made changes. I knew right away the difference between the songs. And it got me thinking about how well users know our content. If you are a hospital marketer, your readers probably come to your content to get information. They don't come to be entertained. They might come to do something transactional, but they're not gonna memorize your content. But that's awesome news for you because that means that you are sitting on mounds of content that they actually might reconsume if you change them enough. So I went to ChatGPT and I asked, give me topics that a hospital blog writes about that I can update annually. And right away, it's the perfect wingman for a task like this. It gave me 25 topics. So what I would do is I would make an Excel spreadsheet of those topics and I would do a search on my blog and find blog posts that have to do with those topics. And then I would do some research. Have medical guidelines changed on this particular topic? Is there a way for me to combine some of these blogs and republish them? Is there a way for me to add new content that we've created over the past year or to plug a service line or a new doctor? And then I would republish that blog. If you change enough of the content, it's not duplicate. And the next best thing this does for you is that you can build a library of content centered around certain topics, which will give you a really a nice amount of SEO kickback juice. So another amazing marketing lesson from our queen Tay Tay. Listen, let me tell you something. Keeping up with the constant demands of the content beast really can be draining, but you've already got a lot of great stuff there. So go ahead, make a list of some topic that you might be able to change and republish, and you will see that it will help your SEO, and it will also save you time, energy, in order to get these topics out to people in an updated way. I'll see you next time.